caught in the crossfire. I watched part of this, but, um, come on, get off. Come on, YouTube, be nice. Ahem. 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 Oh, this ha. is going to be a good time. <laughs> Rev said that Shani was sexually harassing him. <laughs> ha. Ha. For Shani, I retract the sexual harassment phrasing. All right, let's get into this. Ha. Okay, so just for a little background on this, um, Shani is desperately trying to shove her self down Jason's throat, and Jason is not feeling like it's an appropriate situation and said that she was sexually harassing him, and this is his response. Told you! Told you! Anyway, let's see this. Someone lied. Let's, let's hear this. Hey, Shani. God bless. I will yep. retract the use of the phrase sexual harassment. Yup, you will. That wasn't the right way to put it. No, it wasn't. And I apologize for that. See, you're apologizing to save your face again, but I'll let you continue on with, um, this. The problem with this is that Shani always has to take things to a sexual place. That's what she's known for doing, because she doesn't know how to have a real relationship. She just goes straight for sex. Sure. Um, you probably should take this on the phone with me, and I would have done everything differently the way I did if you just talked to me. But, you know what? Continue on, boo. Apologize for that. What I will say is that every time that we would start a conversation on the phone... You would always take it to a sexual place. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I 100% believe that. I think that Rev wasn't comfortable with it, and Shani didn't care. Shani thought that she could just sexualize her way through into his life. That's what she thought. It just turned out in the conversation that it would go to a sexual place. Not that I would take it to a sexual place. We both were taking it to a sexual place. A lot of sexual tension between us, dear. A lot. Continue on, continue on. It doesn't matter if someone says they're not comfortable with a sexual conversation. It doesn't matter if there's sexual tension. You leave it alone if someone's uncomfortable, Shannon. And me putting it in that way that it's sexual harassment was the wrong way to put it. Yeah, how long did okay, it take so you to I apologize for that use of the term, and um, I retract it. I apologize. Thank you. I shall be taking down my videos. I have absolutely no malice towards you whatsoever. I don't have- I wish you the best- Okay, first of all, I have no malice toward you at all. You just really pissed off a very, um, stubborn Irish woman. And, um, you don't piss off an Irish person who's Italian and Russian and native. Uh, it's a very- No, Shani, you don't blame your ethnicities on why you behave the way you do. Don't piss off a- what, a mutt? Get a grip. Nobody cares about that. At all. Nobody's impressed by your ethnicities or thinks you're no one to mess with. You are a desperate, lonely housewife who doesn't have a job. That's what you are right now. And this will not get much better for you. Not like you think it will. Lethal combination, may I add, Mr. Egroff? And um, may I also add that um, you're still not taking any responsibility for what you did. Keep on, player. Keep on. I've, I've had plenty of women come to me saying how much you've backstabbed them. But see, like a moth to the flame, you, you can't stay away from me, can you, boo? Nope. 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 Like a moth to a flame, you can't stay away from me. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so, so, so sad. And it's sadder that he fell for Why can't you stay away from me is the question. Why must you talk to me in every few videos? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a reason. There is a reason. Okay, scared little boy, let's continue on. You know I love you, but I had to spank you, because uh, that's what Big Mama does. I spank. Even right there, Big Mama, she has to take things to a sexual place, even in a video where she's claiming that she doesn't. She just did. That's what he's talking about. I don't know where I left off, but I don't know what happened there, but I'm back on. Let's go back a little bit. So, I don't know where I backed up. I'm going 32 seconds. You would always take it to a sexual place. Okay, if I said this again, I don't know where it, the live stream ended, but no, I would not take it to a sexual place. It would just happen that in the middle of the conversation, it would go to a sexual place because he would end up flirting with me, or I end up flirting with him, and we'd start talking Shannon, about I've sex. Shannon, i how you act when you like someone. I saw how you acted when you had feelings for Rev. You 
are the one who takes things to a sexual place. He was not. He was not comfortable with it. He told you he wasn't comfortable with it. He continued to tell you you didn't listen and he made a video saying it was sexual harassment. You have to go pretty far to make someone make a video saying that they're being sexually harassed by someone. So I don't believe that he was right up there with you making the same kind of kind of conversation that you were. Because if he was, he wouldn't make a video calling it sexual harassment. Now would he? I don't believe you one thing leads to another. That's what the truth actually is. You're still blaming the woman for actions that you've done also. Can we at least come to the mutual understanding, I hope you say this next time, the mutual understanding, dear, that we both were at play with this. We both were. I know, I know what's going to happen in the future, but that doesn't matter. You know too, but let's continue on. And me putting it in that way that it's sexual harassment was the wrong way to put it. It was the wrong way to put it because you were doing it too. You were doing it too, boo. You're still lying. Because, see, every single time you say something, you, you look up like, mm, come on. Oh, and if you didn't know, I Shenny has uh, her doctorate in, in body language. <laughs> she, she keeps commenting on his body language and why he's lying. I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to lose at this point. I've lost everything. You're talking to someone who's lost everything in life. Oh, no. <laughs> it hasn't even began for you yet, Shannon. Just wait. You're going to have a nice little ride with Rev where you spend all of his money and then you're both going to be broke flat on your ass with no, not a dime e-begging anyone that will give you five bucks for Delta 8. That's where your life's about to go, so buckle up. You thought this was bad? Oh, sweetheart, you have no idea. <laughs> okay, so I apologize for that Thank you. use of the term. Yeah. And um, I retract it. I apologize. That's right. I have absolutely no malice towards you whatsoever. And I have absolutely no malice towards you. I wish you the you. best in your life. Mm -hmm. I believe you're an amazing mother. That's right. I believe that, that you are a very good person. Yes, sir. But I mean, anybody can observe the behavior on your channel. Anyone can observe the behavior that I was a woman who was really fucking scorned because of the shit you've done to me. You don't piss off someone who's Irish, Italian, Russian, Again, and native. nobody cares about your ethnicities. It doesn't make you a, a, any more of a badass than the next person. Stop saying that. You sound ridiculous. It's a lethal combination, especially when it comes to me. You don't lie to me. Lying to me is a trigger. Um, betrayal is a trigger. Abandoning me is a really big um, trigger. Lying, abandonment, and not anything that else you just named is also a trigger for everybody else on this planet. You're not the only one who has triggers, who has issues, who has mental problems. Plenty of other people suffer from the same shit you do. Yeah, it's triggering when someone lies to you. That doesn't change because you have some bigger amount of PTSD than someone else. It's, a, it's obnoxious to be lied about or lied to, I get it. But you making it like it's a you thing just shows how narcissistic you truly are. It triggered me. Continue on. On your channel. Mm -hmm. Towards me. Yep. And there's obviously malice. On your end. Malice, no. Pissed off, yes. And you have plenty of malice toward me, dear. I have Facebook records to prove that. On your end, for me. And all that I was trying to do for you, ever, was encourage you through a tough time. You see how he looked on the side? Just encourage you Again, through a tough time. Again, Shani okay. is a body language ex expert, and she knows that Rev is lying because he's not saying what she wants him to say, which is that he loves her and wants to be with her. He, that's not what she's hearing, so that's not what she's going to say she's hearing because it's not what she wants to hear. Okay. Yes, I can say a lot of the time you were encouraging me, but that wasn't the only thing you were doing. It wasn't the only thing you were doing, and you know it. Take some responsibility, man. You're not a little... I honestly don't know why this keeps going down. It's driving me nuts. Let's continue on. I'll just talk over instead of, like, pressing the button constantly. I don't know. This is messed up. Okay, continue on. Encourage you through a tough time. And you did. You're trying to blame me now for your breakup with Chris? <sighs> you did not help 
When you call me up saying how much you love me and how much of a gorgeous human being I am, you did not Jenny, help. you don't even deserve that much from anybody. Not Rev, not anybody else. You're a vile, vile human being and you will remain a vile human being when you get all the money that you got from him. You'll treat people like trash. When you lose all the money you got from him, you'll treat people like trash and expect them to give handouts to you. You're a vile, rotten person. You are part of the problem. All of us are. Up with Chris, and you have told me in conversations, in confidence, and I, I feel okay about doing this now. Go ahead, say it. Because uh, you, you dumped everything you got on me. Dump everything you I got, got on me, baby. I, by the way. Come on. Chris was cheating on you six months before we were even talking about anything. Yep. So your marriage was dead a while ago. Yeah, but I didn't know it until the very end of the marriage. Nothing. There you go, looking up again. I have no malice towards you. Yeah, you do. You do. Well, no, you do. But there is slanderous stuff. Slanderous. That you have been saying in your slanderous. videos about me. That is I not true. I 100 percent believe that Jenny was saying slanderous stuff about Rev because Rev wasn't giving her what she wanted, which was a relationship, and he's still not giving her one, and she's still fighting for one, and it's pathetic. Slanderous, dude. You just said you attracted sexual harassment because it wasn't exactly the truth. Who's really being slanderous? Everything I said was true. Come on, continue on. I love you as a sister in Christ. And, and I, I love always you. told you that. Every time that this thing would go sexual, I would say, I don't want to talk about that stuff. If I started being sexual with a man on the phone and he said to me, I don't want to talk about that stuff, I would be mortified and never ever bring it up again. But not Shannon. See, you looked up again when you said that. I don't want to talk about that stuff. Come on, dude. Your, your body language is saying the opposite of what you're saying out of your mouth. His you body totally language were in was saying something else. You all live in separate states. How much body language of his did you see through a screen? It still doesn't make it right. That's like saying to a woman, well, you, you said you didn't want to have sex, but your body language told me something different. So I just, you know did whatever to you. That that's it's not okay. It is not okay. I don't care who it is. To that shit. Don't lie. Don't lie. And you would push it more and push it more and push it more. We both were doing and it. You know that's the truth. You know that's the truth. No, it wasn't the truth, dear. You're at fault too. You say I want to save face, you're saving face. Nope. You know the initial sin was on your part. No, you know the initial sin was on your part. When you did that right before you did that interview with me, you were telling me how sexy I was. And then I was like, Hi, when you introduced me. Everyone, look at it. It's on his page. Go ahead, look at it. Come on. Come on, keep saving face. Was on your part. Nope, it was on your part too, baby. We're both responsible. I care for you. I know you do, and I care for the you. The reason that I started talking to you in that way is because I wanted to make you feel better about yourself. See, there he goes, and he fucking admits it! The reason why I started talking to you in that way. I think there was a lot of other women that Rev was interested in, and I think Shani shoved herself down his throat so much that he finally just gave in. Because he's not showing any any signs he wants a relationship with her. Gosh, that's one thing about liars, is they can't keep their story straight. Okay, continue. <laughs> oh, continue on, babe! Feel better about yourself. Because I know your history. You claim that you tried to cut your wrists. Yep. I find it repugnant that Shani uses self-harm as a way to get her away, but obviously she was still doing it back then. Before she was even with Rev, she was lying and saying she was cutting herself when she was not. I don't want to see you die. You're ch uh, do this again. Let me unplug this. Maybe I'll make it easier. Uh. But I told you I was telling the truth. I told you I was. Everyone was like, oh, he, he telling the truth. He telling the truth. Okay, I'm just... Jason, I fucking am in love with you. Okay? Continue on. Imagine telling someone you're in love with them and that person doesn't want anything sexually to do with you whatsoever and is making a very public statement about it, but you're soon to sit here and say, I'm in love with you. Your children need you. Wait, let me go you back. are a good mother. Wait, let me go back to 400. I don't want to see you die. And I don't want to see you die. I want you to get help and get better because I love you. I love you. Gosh, 
I think we had our, our first flight. I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is very fatal attraction, bunny boiling kind of shit. <laughs> this is our first flight, isn't it? Isn't this? This is our first, like, real, real fight. Okay, let's continue on. Your children need you. You are a good mother. Everything I've ever said to you and any communications that we've had is to help you. But you turned this thing into a sexual thing. I did. There you go. Dude, dude, dude. You turned it into a sexual thing, too. You know what I think? I think you're in denial of your feelings for me. That's what I really do think, is you're completely in fucking denial. It wasn't just me who turned it into a sexual thing. We both did. That's what happens when you fall in love with someone. Congratulations. You can't stay away from me. Every other video is about me. He just wished Have you, you a nice life and to, te to enjoy taking care of your children. That doesn't sound like someone that's in love with you and can't keep away from you like a moth to a flame. Put two to two together, you look like you haven't slept in days. Oh no, Shiny, he hasn't slept in days. He's been too busy being up all night, just so in love with you, he can't sleep. <laughs> I don't think so. God, you've never gone through this before, have you? You've never had a relationship with a woman. Like, a true relationship, have you? God, I love you. And I'm going to erase those videos for your sake, because I do love you. But let's continue on. I told you. How many people do you see that make uh, their first minister a sexual thing? I can answer that. Uh, fake Christians, wannabe Christians, who are really just out for your money, Rev, but pretend like they're actually interested in your words of wisdom on, on the book of the Bible. That's who does that kind of shit. How many people put their first minister as a sexual thing? You didn't tell me that. Well, you asked me why. Why? I don't know why it happened sexually. Maybe it was because you were telling me how gorgeous I was and how much you loved me. Maybe it just evolved into something sexual. Maybe that happens when you fall in love with someone. Oh my gosh, I have to teach you everything when it comes... By teaching, she means manipulating. This is classic gaslighting. You're the problem. Your feelings for me are the problem. You don't know that you're in love with me. Let me prove it to you. It's sick. It's to relationships, don't I? Okay, let's continue this on, Jason. Let's continue this on. It was never about a sexual thing, Jan. It was about you seeing Christ in me and encouraging you in a time that you needed it. And I want to do that for you now. I am sorry for anything. If you ever felt let on, I apologize. When you have phone sex with someone and you tell them what you're going to do to them, um, that's leading someone on. I just want to let you know, that's leading someone on. <sighs> oh, so you did have phone sex while you were still married to Chris, and he just apologized for leading you on. He's not, he's not feeling it, Shani. Take the hint, but you don't. You don't. I really do believe something's going to happen with us someday. I really do. Because this is just... You don't, you don't get relationships with women, and I'm in love with you, and it's obvious you have those same feelings for me, but you just don't want to admit them because you're a dude, and dudes are stupid when it comes to feelings. I don't think dudes are stupid to feelings at all. I think that if he felt the same way about you at this time that you felt about him, he wouldn't be up sitting here apologizing and telling you to have a nice life. I get it, dude. I get it. Continue on. And I told you that many times in private conversations. I saw so many kids in high school that would lead girls on. And I didn't want to be that guy. But you are that guy! You could do the right thing. You could do the right thing right now. Continue on. And what's the right thing, Shannon? Bringing you and your two children to Pennsylvania to live with him? Because that's exactly what you did. That's exactly what you did. You showed up on his porch. Like the needy, selfish human being that you truly, truly are. No, don't worry about that. Let's just talk about this stuff. Sexual stuff. And I was like, all right, let's talk about sexual stuff. To encourage you. So we talked about sexual stuff to encourage me? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I don't think you talking about sexual stuff with me was to encourage me. I think it was for us to um, both enjoy each other. Uh <laughs> This belongs in a cringe fest video. This is so fucking cringy. I can't, <laughs> I can't even take it. Oh, this is so desperate. <laughs> oh, 
I love you. <laughs> and you know this is true. <laughs> I know you're you know full of shit true. right now. Because you looked away again. You're a bad liar. If you want to and the body language expert is back. She is making sure she watches all of his body movements. <laughs> so she could tell if he's lying. Can you slander me and tell lies and stuff? That's up to you. There you go. Looking at the side again when you say when you continue to slander me and tell lies, look at side to make sure. Oh, gosh, dude. Dude, it's okay. It is okay. It's okay to have those feelings for someone. It is okay. It does not make you a bad person. You're 32 years old. It is normal. It is normal to want to be sexual with someone at 32. Trust me. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, you just lost husband number two, and we we all know the Pringle can story, so no, this is not new to you at all. Not even a little bit. That's your decision. That's my decision? And by the way, when I look up like this, I'm looking into my backyard because it's beautiful. No. No. No, because they're micro glances. They're micro glances. I think she means a micro expression, which is a short involuntary glance by somebody. It's a it's a body language thing, but it's a micro expression. Come on, continue on. Not that I'm lying. You are though. No good deed goes unpunished, guys. I'm gonna tell you that. Mm-hmm. Every time every time you try to help somebody out. Oh, Gosh, camera fee sucks tonight. Let's continue on. Your heart is breaking through this whole thing, Jason. Your heart is breaking. Mm, no, I don't think he looks very heartbroken. I think he's... I, I wish he would have ran. I wish he would have ran so far from you. Because you I know wish. you're not telling the whole story between us. You know you love me. You just won't allow yourself to have those feelings. Because you're scared, and this is proof of it. Warning to the brethren. A warning to the brethren, right? So that's it. Wait, let me go back. No good deed goes unpunished, guys. I'm going to tell you that. Every, every time you try to help somebody out, most likely you're going to get hurt. You're hurt because you, you're lying to yourself. You're hurt because you won't allow yourself to feel things that happen just naturally. Our feelings for each other grew. Naturally. My marriage was over, so we naturally took it to that sexual direction to each other. Because we had feelings for each other for a really long time before that. And you know it's true. This is The fact that these are adults airing out all of their business on the internet blows my mind. Like, I can't imagine sitting with a man and going back and forth with him like this. It's crazy. This is not how adults behave. This is how little teenagers behave. Heartbreaking. This is fucking heartbreaking. Let's continue on. Oh, Shani's gonna start welling up some fake tears, guys. Buckle up. Come on. She's upset. She said it's heartbreaking. Warning to the brethren. So that's it. Shani, I wish no malice on you. Why'd you look no. up? I wish the love of Christ on you, which I know you already have. Yes. But this is almost harassment. No, it's not harassment. It's called getting your attention. Trying to wake you up. Unwanted communication with someone is harassment. He doesn't want to talk to you about this and you're harassing him. That's why he's saying that and he's right. Trying to get you to tell the truth. Obviously it worked. A little bit. <sighs> How did it work? We both love each other. Deeply. And we've both gone through fucking hell and back together. Excuse me, I find that offensive because me and my husband actually did go through hell and back. We had to go through deployments and all kinds of shit. What did you two have to endure that was hell and back on the internet? Please explain. I'd love to hear what hell and back sound is because you guys haven't even met in person. What a stupid thing to say. I will always love you. 
I will always deeply love you. I. You're almost in tears, and you fucking know it. I only tried to help you. You fell in love, and you got fucking scared. That's what fucking happened. No, that's what you wish happened, but you weren't done manipulating Jason yet, so you didn't get there. You don't help a woman by playing on her fucking feelings like that. And not only her feelings, but her sexual desires. You just, I, that's not helping. That's not encouraging. Now, there's only two story. There's only two things that could possibly be. You actually had feelings, and you still do, and you're running scared because I think that's what's really the truth. Or you played me. I don't think you... I don't... I don't... I've had all these stories from these other women, but... Damn it. We've had six... For months. Six hours long conversations with each other. Over everything in the world. Everything. About everything. I don't want to lose that. You're absolutely gorgeous to me. And the fact that... The things that happened between us when sexual is... It's something that naturally happens to people when they fall for each other. What she's missing here is that Rev was a virgin at this time and had very little experience with any women. And what she was saying to him sexually made him uncomfortable. You know it. You know it as well as I do. Every few videos is about me. Even if you don't say my name, it is still about me. Okay, let's continue on. That's it. You wanted something else, and I went there to encourage you. I wanted something else, and you went there to encourage me. That's gotta be one of the most lamest fucking excuses I have ever heard, dude. You don't go and play after a woman's sensibilities to encourage her, and then... <sighs> You poor, poor eunuch. I'm gonna have to cheat you so much. It's okay. I love you. I forgive you. I forgive you. You poor, dumb, stupid bastard. I forgive you. I fucking love you. It's never gonna end. It's never gonna stop. And this is our first fight together. Huh. I wonder how things are gonna turn out after this, to tell you the truth, because I, I already know where things are gonna turn out with us, but it, you gotta get over this scared thing that you're going through right now, which I... Yeah, she knows that in a couple of years you're going to be broke on your ass living at your uncle's e-begging for 40 bucks for Delta 8. That's your future with Jason, if, with Shani. Choose wisely. <laughs> I understand. I understand. It, you've never felt this way before, and it just it happens. But let's continue on. I, everyone, you can see your heart breaking through this whole video. Because I know you need it. So I say this in all sincerity. I pray for you. I pray for your children. You're a good mom. You're an awesome mom. Focus on yourself and your kids. They need you. And I need you. All right? And there it is, folks. He says, your children need you. And she says, but I need you. She put her own feelings in front of her children's, and that's why she lost them eventually. But that's why. Because she only cares about one thing, and that's herself. I need you. You know who you are to me. You dumb bastard. You're like fucking almost crying in this. I need you. You made the covenant with me. You said you would be there for me. If anything happened to Chris. And you would marry me. You made that promise with me. And you said I'd say this. With God as our witness, with Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach as our witness. You made that covenant with me. <laughs> and now you're almost in fucking tears over this, you stupid bastard. <laughs> I fucking miss you to fucking hell. I miss you so much. Fucking bastard. <sighs> so I, I just, I, I pray for you, and I call for everybody in the body of Christ to pray for you. I am, I am sorry if you felt like the stuff that went on was me leading you. I told you that's... There you go. Look it up again.
My God, what the fuck happened to us? We used to be fucking best friends. We used to be just best friends. And something romantic happened. And I don't know why you're so ashamed of saying it. Because you're saying it. You're still saying that it is. But yet trying to still hide it at the same time. Um, I have a pretty good idea of why he's denying any sexual anything with you. Um, I have a pretty good idea. I mean, other people may not be seeing it, but of course I see it because we both know what the truth is over this. Not what I wanted to do. And you said, fine. What should we... I yeah, it wasn't what I wanted to do. Do you think I wanted to fall in love with you? I was married. Exactly. You were married, so you didn't have any business having any sexual conversations with any men until you got a divorce. That's how it works, Miss Christian. But I fell in love with you. And I know you feel the fucking same, even though you're too scared to admit it. Because it's, 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 it's scandalous. It is. It is scandalous. It is scandalous. And it's embarrassing. But it's what happened between us. And I do believe it happened between us because of God. Because God drawn us together. Because of who we are together. We're beautiful together. Everyone can see our rapport. Everyone can see the love that we have for each other. They probably can see it now. You're practically in tears over this. When are you going to just realize that I look at you good enough for me? You're good enough for me. All I ever wanted to be is loved. Loved, and you showed me that. Now, I don't know what these other women are saying because they were saying that he's a player. He's a player. Not sure how a 32-year-old virgin is a player, but I don't know what goes on in these chat rooms. Craziness. I hear this, and I, I see my Jason. I see my David. I see my love. What should we? I want to talk about this stuff anyway. That's what happened, Shani. And you know it. I wish the best for you. God bless you. And stay strong. And yeah, I meant that when I came in the chat. I mean that. You stay strong. Your kids need you. And I need you. You're a good woman. God bless you. So obviously, Rev thought he could separate himself from the situation because it made him uncomfortable and shiny and true shiny form just shoved herself down his throat until he finally caved and now they're in the situation there and now but I thought this was very interesting uh to see wasn't quite the love story they made it out to be now was it no and I need you every time that we talked I didn't feel like I was empty. I felt like I was whole. A whole person. And you know what I mean. You know what I mean about this. <coughs> I told you when I first saw you. I went, Because <gasps> I saw bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. In you. I saw it. I know you love me. I knew it. And I know right now your heart is just breaking right now. It's just breaking. Because you know what you feel and I know how I feel. I want the very best for you. I love you. I love you. I will always love you. To my own detriment, I will love you. And I will be your friend. And I will be your love. And you will be as needy as humanly possible also. Don't forget how needy you, you're going to be. Forever. I'm keeping that up. I couldn't sleep. Because it's true, I couldn't. Jezebel's spirit, that's up. The receipts, it's gone. You were so full of shit, I'll take that down. Because you retracted your statement. But you damn well know that rain in that picture. 
you promised me that ring and I will receive it someday, sir. That beautiful ring. That's my ring. She already had a ring picked out? Get the heck out of here. She already had a ring picked out at this point? Psychopath. <laughs> Psychotic. I do this for you, my love. I don't do this for myself. I do this for you. Because I love you. I always will. I know eventually you're going to talk to me again. You can't stay away from me and I can't stay away from you. That's why I call this like a moth to the flame. Because we are. Chris was right. We can't stay away from each other. We never will be. We never could. It's impossible for us to stay away from each other. It really is impossible for us to stay away from each other. I'm going to continue to work on myself and my children. I'm going to continue to go through this divorce and get all the papers filed. And I'm telling you, you don't believe me. I am. I can't believe her divorce wasn't even in process yet. And she's saying she's in love with another man and already has a ring picked out and yet calls herself a Christian. I'm pretty sure that that's not a good thing at all. Is it? I don't think so. I don't think that's fair to call yourself a Christian if you're literally starting to have feelings for someone else and picking out rings. I'm moving to Pennsylvania. Not, not just for you. But I am planning to move there because I've told you this before. It is the epicenter of where I need to be. I'm sorry, what? Pennsylvania is the epicenter of where she needs to be? For what purpose other than to live with Rev? Really, what else is in Pennsylvania? <laughs> And I know it sounds weird to people. I don't care what they say. You are the love of my life. Even if I never met you, you still are the love of my life. Because you taught me how it was to believe in Christ. And you grew me as a Christian. And I know people think it's weird. I know you think it's weird. Like, I'm your first minister and it went sexual. But it's like, I'm sorry. That happened. It happened. You shouldn't take any shame in that. That it happened between us. What happened between us happened. Because of feelings. Because of our love for each other. It didn't happen because I was being some kind of sexual deviant to you. <laughs> you pulled out a woman's desire. When you tell a woman who already already loves you spiritually and already loves you emotionally and mentally already loves you and then you awaken that desire in a woman. When you awaken that desire in a woman. It's maddening. It is absolutely maddening. <laughs> it's maddening. It's absolutely maddening. What accent is this one? Can you imagine? I'm in love with you, and I can't touch you. You probably know how that feels right now. The fact is, none of us pushed the sex thing. It was just happening. Because that's what happens when two people fall in love. It goes that route. It goes that route naturally. Especially when you love someone as deeply as we love each other. People don't understand our relationship. I understand that. People won't understand it. People don't understand that for years we've been talking hours upon hours to each other. For years. So during your marriage to Chris, basically. For years. So during your marriage. Way to let that out, Chan. And like I said, you will always come back. You will always come back to me. Because we have that soul bond. And we'll always have that soul bond. We'll always have that connection. You know it. You were almost in tears. This is breaking your heart. This is breaking your heart. And I hope. I hope you start just validating how you feel. And validating. That it's okay for you to have those feelings for me. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to harm you. All I would ever wanted from you. All I ever wanted to do for you is love you. Boy, I bet Jason wishes he could go back in time and have never met this woman because look at his life now because of her. You know it. I've always loved you. I always will love you. You're beautiful to me. You're my David. 
You're my David. Stop saying he's You're your obviously David. my we Adam, too, since you like to blame times. the woman. It's the woman, God, that you gave me that did this, that ate from the forbidden tree. It was the woman that gave me the fruit. I, I, I just took a bite of the fruit. C come on. You're probably going to call me in a couple days or tonight. I don't know. I'm going to go and uh, get my back to the roots going live stream. But thank you for retracting your statement. Thank you for establishing me as not being a liar. And I will say, like I said before in the other videos, my birthday is coming up. It would be a nice birthday present to see you. No, we don't have to take it in a sexual place. Just to be able to hug you. That would be great. Just to know how it would feel to be close to you. To be right next to you. So you want to hug him and be next to him and close to him and do whatever, but it's not going to go to a sexual place? Are you serious? As if you would even respect that boundary? I don't think so. Instead of miles upon miles away. I think 1175 miles. I think that's what it said when we looked that up. Together. But I'm still getting my ass, like you said, to Pennsylvania. Still going. Because God knows the desires of my heart. And he promised me. He promised me to give the desires of my heart to me if I give my life to him. Okay, we're not going to listen to her ramble on about her well, this anymore. The bottom line is she took it to a sexual place that Jason was not comfortable with as he was a virgin at this time. She didn't respect that he had a boundary and he went as far as to make a video calling her a sexually harassing person. And he retracted that, um, but for to even make a video like that, it had to go pretty far. So... In my opinion, I think Shani shoved herself down Rev's throat so much he didn't have a choice in the matter. I really do, because at this point in time, he had everything going for him. He still had he had his inheritance. He had no no one to take care of, no kids to take care of. And then he got shacked up with this woman. And now we all know the outcome of it, but this was the beginning of it, and I find it disgusting that a man even has to take it as far as going online and making a video and saying, I'm being sexually harassed by this person. It should never go that far. Ever, ever, ever is it okay, whether it's a man or a woman saying it, it doesn't make any difference. No one should have to say, you're taking this more further than what I'm comfortable with. That's never going to be okay with me or anybody else. So... Shani and people like Shani need to respect that and understand that not everyone's as comfortable with sexuality as she is, Pringle Can Man. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't, ask me and I'll tell you in the comments. But I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for all the likes you've given me and all the amazing comments. I read every single one of them. I appreciate all of you. Um, never feel afraid to leave me a comment, good or bad. I take criticism well. It's not a big deal. Um, please hit the like button if you liked it on your way in or on your way out. And I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I will be back. I have a video of Shani's parents um, that I'm working on. And then I have also have one with her ex-husband that I'm working on. So um, TGIF, everybody. Have an amazing weekend. And you'll be hearing from me probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, I have a craft fair tomorrow, but I'll put something up for you guys. I love you guys very much. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye.